Adventures Bone Movie Thoughts. I like the scene with the army recruiter. The, the implication that that's really her best bet for continuing to support her siblings and her mother. And I do like that the recruiter is shown in a positive light, that he does not try to trick her. The, the sad truth is that you know, there are a lot of people in America who don't really have that many opportunities, and the you know joining the military seems to be the best option for you know being able to secure some kind of a future. The scene, the one scene where Reed breaks down, you know, with her mother. And, you know, she's like, just this one time, could you please help me? Very moving, very effective. I like that that's the one time we see her break down. You know, the rest of the time she is just really very confident and very... she doesn't back down, you know. That's the one time we see that you know, deep down, she she isn't entirely sure, but she doesn't have a choice. She can't just, you know, stop and ponder every single decision. She has to keep things moving, you know. She, and the scene with her training, the, the even the little girl, even the six-year-old girl, who I'm not sure even has a single line in the movie, but is there for us to realize. You know, it's not just, she doesn't just have the one, and there's also the thing about that, I think it was Blonde Milton will not take the girl yet, maybe in a few years, you know. They'll only take Sunny. But she trains the six-year-old to, not mainly the twelve-year-old, but she's trying to make sure if if Re suddenly can't take care of them, they're going to have to be able to take care of themselves, you know, and it sort of hits you in that scene. Bullets are probably cheaper than proper food there, you know, at least some of the time. Maybe it fluctuates some, but it's probably easier to survive by killing your own food there. And I think that really says something about that environment. I like that we do see that the neighbors look out for Rhi and her family. You know, the, the woman who takes over the horse and later brings, you know, various food items. The family bond kind of thing really worked and I think it's pretty accurate because in that kind of environment if you don't have law enforcement that you can really depend on and everyone basically is you know engaging in some kind of legal activity it's pretty much set up right that basically everyone cooks you know crank methamphetamine and in that kind of situation, you need some kind of, you know, Thump Milton is like the godfather. He's the gangster overlord. He's the mafioso. And if you go against the code, there have to be consequences, because how else can he enforce that? And that kind of environment where everyone is doing something illegal, will tend to breed some kind of leader. There will be someone who takes control of it and, you know, ensures some kind of balance. Sooner or later, one will emerge. And it's really effective how, without a gun being pointed at Re, without 
without a classic looking henchman, they still managed to really instill fear in us. We realized this is serious business, you know. Suddenly, this middle-aged woman, you know, with her two sisters, or maybe those were men, but, you know, she grabs Re and, you know, she's beaten. It really, you know, that kind of environment really toughens you. You, you get tough or you die. It's that simple. You can't survive if you can't live up to the harshness of the environment. It's not an accident, by the way, that this is set during winter, of course. And then, you know, you, you can easily follow, I would say, the trail of, you know, the more she asks questions, the more he asks questions, the more people start talking about Jessup's death, and the Miltons really can't have anyone find out. So, finally, to just end it, they, you know, they agree to throw her a bone with letting her have the hands of her father. One of the most brutal scenes, also. And... And the little detail about if you only bring one, they'll think he cut it off himself to fake his death. You know, they know that trick. You need both, because, you know... One thing is, who would actually cut off both of their hands? And another thing is, he definitely needs someone else to cut off that other hand. And yeah, it just... At that point, it makes more sense, I guess, that she... But yeah, fantastic movie.